guys, we just got to Sand Hollow State Park. We're gonna be doing some free diving. This guy is ready. You got your gear, buddy? Yeah. Are we gonna do some free diving? Yeah. Are you gonna come with me? Yeah. How deep are you gonna go? Oh, You're gonna go way deep? Yeah. Are you gonna come to the plane with me? Yeah. A while back, we got quite a game changer. And it is an electric pump. Is it hot? No. Did you get sunscreen on? Did? You're gonna need some. Okay, we're making our way out to the dive zone. Are we gonna jump off the rocks? Yeah. I've got my trusty little motor up in front. I did forget to shave the top of my mustache, so we'll see, see if I can get my mask to seal. This is the first time I've had a dive watch that'll tell me my depth, so I'm excited to see how deep the plane actually is. It's a pretty day. The water is pretty warm. It's not gonna get too hot. It's only gonna be about 90 degrees versus 102, I think, is tomorrow. So we're excited. This is me having a great time making funny faces. All of a sudden I could hear a boat that sounded like it was right above me, which is a free diver's greatest fear. Everything in the water sounds really close and we had seen some jet skiers earlier that day that did not understand what a no wake zone meant. Luckily the boat was super far away and just had revved its engine so we didn't have any problems. So I kept diving and we were having a ton of fun. Like I mentioned, this was the first time I had had a dive watch, so I was really excited to see what the depth of the plane was. Lots of scuba divers had told me different numbers. Some said 30, some said 45. As you can see, the plane sat at about 11.4 meters deep. That's 37.4 feet. The water was a little low, probably four or five feet lower than it usually is. So on a normal year, it's probably sitting at around 40 to 45 feet deep. As you can see, the water wasn't quite as clear as it usually is, but we kept diving and having a lot of fun. In this next dive, you can see that you can see the marker, which is just a floating Gatorade can, but you can't see the plane yet. It's kind of freaky to not be able to see what is on the bottom of that lake. In this footage, you're gonna see two of the most interesting parts of this plane. First, you're going to see a lot of trapped air from scuba divers and free divers that go through the plane. You'll see that it's right above my head. It looks like a big metallic bubble. The next interesting thing is this camera. Somebody in their basement must be live streaming everything that's happening in this plane. Here's another great look at the trapped air. Next, Gray hopped in the water with me, which makes me so proud. I love how comfortable he is in the water. He even tries to put on an adult mask and snorkel which it's just hilarious. So now to measure the depth of the Gatorade bottle. It is 5.4 meters deep, which is 17.7 feet deep. I did a couple more dives and really just got worn out. So we wanted to take a break. I'm holding on because I'm about to pass out. Whew. 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 Okay, so we, we made it to the Cessna plane. It was really hard to find the water bottle because the water's a little bit murky right now. It's funny, it takes about 15, 20 minutes every year for me to figure out where the dang plane is. I did a couple of dives. There's a lot more plant life this year than there was last year. And there are also some bluegill 
that I hadn't seen last year. So somebody must have introduced bluegill. I also saw one of the largest bass I've seen in this lake. So now we're climbing around on some rocks. Ah, are you climbing? Yeah. Oh, dude. One of the reasons I love sand hollow is because you get to just play around. You can climb around on the rocks. You can jump off the rocks. You can go swimming, boating, free diving. It is a wonderful place. Oh, and the other part, the water is very warm. You do have what's called swimmer's itch. If you're in the water for too long, your skin starts to itch. I don't know what that's from. Um, I usually get it every single time I come, but it's not too unbearable. It's a little annoying. It's like mosquitoes when you're camping, right? I was trying to dive from the top of the cliff with the GoPro facing me, and I was just praying that I wouldn't drop it. And guess what? I absolutely dropped it. Wah, 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 wah. The bottom of the lake here is about 45 feet deep. When I got my GoPro back, I saw some really interesting footage. My GoPro actually landed on a pair of sunglasses that I didn't even notice when I found it later on. It took me 18 minutes to find my GoPro, mostly because it was covered by a ton of weeds and mud. I also couldn't get a seal on my mask because I didn't shave my mustache, so it was letting some water in. I love seeing our little munchkins just running around. Did you almost fall? Dad, do you know what I like about this lake? What? The amazing views. What happened? Um, okay. Do you think you're coming? Yeah. Oh. Okay. oh, in your back? Yeah. Oh, in your leg? Hey, yeah. Gray, who cut your hair? Both my kids are into climbing. Dude, you're doing great climbing, guys. Yeah. He follows me wherever. I'm He's following you? Yeah. 